Are my levels okay? Yeah, you're good. Okay, so yeah, just make me, just make me look super, super aesthetic and stuff. Yeah? Here's the office. And then we get the vibes. Wait, the vibes, the vibes. All right, let's get to work. No, should I go? My name is Simon Savita and this is my course pro level beats. I look good. Yeah, okay. Um, hi, my name is Simon Servita, and this is my course pro level beats. Yeah, yeah. This feels weird. <laughs> Yeah, so I brought a cameraman over here so that I can just show you guys the un... What's the word? Un... Uninspired? No. <laughs> is that the word? Unrestricted? I'm yeah, without restrictions it's... of a tripod. This is kind of what I do a lot. I do a lot of walking and pacing when I come up with ideas. Mm. And you know, just having a camera on a tripod and me having to be in frame, this is not... This is you. not my optimal beat making process right here. So this course is a culmination of the music theory I learned in university, as well as 10 years of experience making beats. Good? Beautiful. Okay, uh, 10, it's 50 videos and eight hours of con, let me count the videos. The course is over eight hours long across 50 videos. More than 50 videos, whatever, it's 50 now. <laughs> um, the best part about this course is that, is that I designed it for the modern producer. Yeah, there it is, okay. The best thing about this course is that I designed it for the modern producer. Okay, I had an idea in the car on the way here. I wanted to try like a, like a drop where it kind of descends in pitch. I, I hate that there's a camera right here because it sounds stupid, but it's like a gloop, 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 gloop. I want you guys to get into this world though. So if I'm going gloop, 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 let's get the tempo first. Mm -hmm. You can go a bit faster. It's around 120. Okay, let's pull up a one shot because that might be fun. Like here, something short and plucky. As it's doing that melody, it's going down like an octave. Okay, maybe we should do the drums first because that might be easier. That's quite smacky. Okay. How's that? Just kind of repeat that? Yeah, we're in the like a, like a simple catchy melody. So like that. But somewhere down the line, I want that to just go down an octave halfway into the drop. So let's create an automation clip. Is, yeah, do you, okay, you're getting it now. Bum, 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 bum. There, something like that. Ooh. You know what? I haven't done the triple bump in a while. What's the triple bump? <laughs> the triple bump? It's the, it's the boom, boom, boom. I see potential in it. So I'm gonna keep going with it. Even though I don't love it right now. I have to talk about the website. What am I saying about the website? Do you wanna see it? Your what? The web, the actual yeah, thing. For sure. So this is the courses and stuff. It's very user friendly. The, web, uh, the website is designed to give you the best news learning experience possible. It's close, it's really close. I'm not, I'm not trying to say easy, I'm just no, trying to say, I'm trying to say not as difficult. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, like, mid, there's a middle word. I know, there's a middle word. I'm just, oh, it's streamlined. Mm. So while oh, that's the word. That's okay, the word. and uh, and the website is designed so that learning music theory is as streamlined as possible. High five. Good word, boy. All right, so I'm gonna sauce up the hi hats. Not too crazy. It's really spaced out. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the plucked I use, so let's get a different one. Like, how do you know when it's like? Mm, chef's kiss, ready to serve. When is it? When is it ready? Yeah. I just kind of keep going until. So you're content. I like it. Yeah. Especially it's you know me right now in a studio by myself. Yeah. You know there's no artist with me. There's no rapper. I'm not really trying to impress anybody. Yeah. So we just make anything I feel like making. How do you like that one? I'm kind of digging that one a bit more. This is getting somewhere. Let's put some effects on it. When I like to make a drop, the way that I like to do it is just to make it super unexpected. So I'm going to just manipulate the hell out of this melody until you don't recognize it. And then we'll drop it into the cool stuff. Effects rack, uh, fading out, reverb fading out, a shaper box fading in. So this is what we got. And then if I do the drop with the 808, that should come out nice. There we go. I like that camera guy. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. 
Mm, I'm a fan. Uh, for the fan service, let's let's get let's have a little bit more fun with the 808. I don't hear a pitch slide. It's like a, it's quick, like a whoop. Watch. It's a whoop. That's cool. Uh, maybe we go up to the fifth, and then we start at the C. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. Wait. Let's a get... little triple whammy? So when I started learning music theory in university, I actually failed. What I'm trying to say is that the stuff I learned there wasn't applicable to modern music. Okay. Let's get the textbooks. Just give it like a little visual aid, you know? Let me look for a really like no. useless chapter. Yeah, like right here. When's the last time you heard a Neapolitan sixth chord in a Billboard song? Just like a... Yeah. Okay. So like, mm. how often are you like... You know, you're in the middle of a beat, you got, you know, you're chiseling that out, right? Yep. And then you're like, this isn't going anywhere. I need to like, you know, go completely the other direction. Like you turn it. Uh, I do that pretty much all the time. Just to, you know, push the envelope further. Just to see how much I can do as a musician. For this beat right here, we have the main melody, we have the clap, we have the kick, we have the 808, we have the hi-hat. It's literally, it's just a handful of sounds. And, you know, if I was with a rapper right now, this is, this is kind of it. You know? Yeah. Like, what do you think? It sounds... It sounds like, it sounds enough for Yeah, like, for someone to rap over? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. But, do you, is there anyone there? See anyone there? Uh, the couch is empty, dude. Yeah, no, so it's just me. Yeah. So, let's kind of fill out that space ourselves. Okay. Let's go, you know, let's get, let's get a bit freaky. Through the ring light. Through the ring light. Through the ring light into the... To the this is the cla This is the classic horse shot when the rappers come through and they try to get dusted. All right, let's get back to beat making. <laughs> it might be cool to kind of go like, really big open chords because everything right now is just really plucky yeah so they're like stabs yeah stabs so kind of just having like just like big open pads maybe like edm ish i think i got it i'll yeah. show you like big long chords just to kind of contrast like the sharp pluckiness so like there until there I think that's it. Simple bouncy part and then big smooth part. So how do I transition back? And I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about that harmonically just because the chord progression I'm doing is different on the synth. The chord I want to end on is the C minor. So how do we get there from here? With it sounding natural. Yeah, we can change it up. We can get really freaky. Second half. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Do you concur? course is split up into nine different modules. So level one is learning the language. This section is for the beginners who have no previous experience in music theory. From modules two to four, we get into our basic beat making. What is an interval? What is a chord? What is a scale? These are things that you need to know so that you can build upon it later. Modules number five and six are the advanced beat making. This is for the intermediate and advanced producers who are looking to take their music to the next level. And in module seven to nine, we do genre studies. This is where I dissect and break down popular songs from multiple genres. We take a look at how the music theory is applied as well as other production techniques. Good. I hear like a, just like a sweeping texture. We put in some Echo Boy, right? So as soon as I play it, you get the delay. Okay, so as soon as, you know, that section drops, we'll just play the chord along with it. And then we get that color. Two, three, four. I messed up. One, two, three, four. Wait. Two, three, four. Two. That's nice. Can you hear it? It's like super subtle. Oh, I hear it, yeah. I don't want to be too much. Okay, let's get a bass going. So we can start with that, but then we can, we have a bit of space to do more. I'm hearing like a little space for a cool bass riff. Right here. Something like that. You know, Ooh. something. 
Oh, I like that with the octave. That's kind of cool. Let's do some automation right during that section. Oh, yes, that's cool. On top of the videos, I'm also giving you project files, MIDI files, trackouts, and a course handbook. All those materials are really gonna help enhance your learning experience. I'm also throwing in a section called Servita Studies. This is where I break down some of my most popular beats and songs. So I talk about the music theory as well as my thought process when I was making them. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just explain every single part, whatever. And I'm throwing in a section called Music from the Masters. I got a few of my favorite producers to record and talk about their beat making process. Uh, I'm not getting anything for this, the smooth section, so let's get back to the... The, Stab. the bouncy section. Yeah, yeah. let's kind of expand on this a bit more because I think we can get a bit freakier with that one too. There's still a lot of space. Like I'm thinking maybe like a cool percussion or something at least. Bam, 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 bam. Feels like it's just descending in pitch. Boom, boom. And then the pitch goes. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, I'm, I'm hearing it. Something like that. I like that. Let's do one more thing. That might be cool. Just really plucky sound. Just we'll just add lots of pluckies on top. Bam. I kind of hear something really simple like that. Oh, that's kind of hard. I hear like a triplet stutter right here. Short. Hmm. Okay, so I have this delay plug in, and it does this preset where. It just slowly bends down in pitch. Mm. Do you hear it? Ooh. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking- Like it's falling off a cliff. Yeah. I'm thinking I turn the wet all the way up. And then we kind of keep that in the background. That's just going to be like a cool little texture. Or not. It might not work. We don't know. That's kind of hard. This is what I hear now. Boo, 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 boo. So I think that an octave, right? Because then it's out of the way of the flute a bit. I hear like a yeah yeah boom, and then it drops like a vocal yeah yeah boom. You know you know what I'm talking about? Yeah 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 boom. Check 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 check. You want to see want to see me check check oh, check check check? Yeah yeah. We're gonna let this run, and I'll just do a bunch of takes. Just let it play the whole time. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the last one was good. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's put some effects. Saturation, EQ, auto tune, easy mix, Echo Boy. Yeah, yeah. A lot goes into a single yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe is it like a mute and then it drops? Ooh. I'm thinking because I'm, I'm filming for the sales video as well as my YouTube channel. For yeah. the YouTube channel, we're not, I'm not saying any of this shit. Yeah, yeah. But for the sales video with like the cold audience, I have to, I feel like I have to talk about it. Additionally, you have an option to upgrade to the VIP package. In here, you're getting my exclusive mixing and mastering course. I go really in depth into my mixing process. We talk about plugins, effects, automation. You're also going to be getting all three volumes of my Capital Drum Kit series. That's all the course. You know what would be cool? If, um, let's get real, real freaky now. Let's take the yeah, yeah. So we take this, we're gonna put it into the sampler. And now I can play that. Ooh. That might be a good place to make a melody for the uh, smooth section. I think that's all we need for that section. Now I'll fill it with. Thanks, sir. Yeah, it sounds like a uh, spider verse. Oh, the gra- uh, Wow. What's that guy's name? Uh. Howler, Growler? I forget his name. Prowler. Prowler. There it is. Sounds like Prowler. I like that. I really like that. So a little Ultra Boy. A little Grit. And then some OTT. Just to kind of muffle it a bit. Good. I think that job is very hard. That purchase, you get 
what's what's the what's that little once you, have it, uh, you, uh, you have get it. access to it yeah so, yeah. so uh, this is a one-time purchase once you get it you have access to it for the rest of your life so unlike school you don't have a semester to crunch it out you know we're busy people I know you got lives and you can work and study at your own pace I can hear somebody rapping over the, the bouncy section He's like we'll just write maybe like eight bars worth just so I can take a break as well as work on my writing skills, so that's like a win-win for me. We'll yeah. let it loop. You know what would be cool? What's that? If I'd kind of come into the verse, like saying yeah, yeah, but instead of like pitch, like I actually say it. You know what I mean? Like, that, two, three, that. Yeah, yeah, son, dun, 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 That's cool. That might be cool. So I'm, I'm thinking of like flow first. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that, but it's that way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got pay stacks, eight racks in the trunk of the Maybach. I'm just thinking of words that rhyme, even though that everything I just said there is completely irrelevant to no, me I know. and my lifestyle. Yeah. But you know, I'm just writing for the sake of writing. Maybe, maybe a rapper with a Maybach might use this. Like, I have to get out of my own head and just keep writing. Yeah, yeah, got pay stacks, eight racks in the trunk of the Maybach. Straight gas, I don't know where the brakes at. Laid back. Uh, got yeah, got straight, straight glass. Laid back, got your girl laid back. Where the cake at? <laughs> Got your girl laid flat, where the cake at? Yeah, yeah. Kind of insulting. Oh, that'd be cool if we kind of like have the lyrics say, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll be, oh, I, someone goes, yeah, yeah. And then the ad lib is the actual lyric. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of cool. Ooh, that would be, yeah. Where the cake at? Like a placemat. <laughs> Step all over that? That's dis disrespectful. <laughs> so disrespectful. This is going to be super valuable to you yeah. yeah and if you don't and if you don't learn anything new there is a 14 yeah I know this is a big investment but this is going to be super valuable information to you but if you don't end up learning anything don't worry there's a 14 day money back guarantee so it definitely doesn't hurt to give it a try obviously you want a beat to be open for vocals so here's some vocals let's see if it's too much or not straight gas I don't know where the brakes at got your girl lay flat where the cake at like a place <laughs> Yeah, yeah, got pay stacks. Eight racks in the trunk of the Maybach. I can make gold plaques on an eight tracks off for the great act, off for the playback. They say, yeah, yeah. I think that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not going for the Emmy this year. Exactly. Because that's a TV thing. <laughs> We're making music. We're not going for the Grammy this there year. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, got pay sex. Eight racks in the trunk of the lay back. Straight gas, I don't know where the brakes at. Got your girl lay flat when it kick at. Like I play slap, ooh, my bass slap. It shakes so rocky like ASAP. I can make gold plaques in the lay track. Saw for the great act, off for the playback. They say, yeah, yeah. That's hard. Where are you? That's hard. I'm a big fan. I'm about this. Okay, I think we're done with the beat making thing. So. Want to, want to do another one? Yeah, yeah, got pay stacks. Eight racks in the trunk of the Maybach. Straight gas, I don't know where the brakes at. Got your girl lay flat with the cake at. Like a place mat, ooh, my bass slap. It shakes so rocky like ASAP. I can make gold black selling eight checks. Off for the great act, off for the playback. They say, yeah, yeah. Uh, the assignment on the sales page is going to talk a bit different. Um, but you know, this is us, so let's just talk real. Is this information that you can find elsewhere? 100%. If you look hard enough, you can find everything I'm talking about in this course. But the thing is, it is hard to find. It's going to be hard to find a place that has this kind of variation when it comes to information. I'm taking some really by the book music theory stuff. I'm combining that with mixing tricks that I learned from my friends. I'm combining that with 808 tricks that took me months to get right. This is one of the very few places where you're going to find a collection of all this information as well as it being streamlined. This course isn't so that you can learn to be successful like me. This course is so that you can learn to be the best version of yourself. I'm exhausted. This is the hardest I've ever worked in my entire life. I hate it, I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. If you're for real about your music and your career and you wanna take it to the next level, then this is, I think this is it. This is all you need. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.